So here we're going to look at finding the equation of a straight line given other information. Now, um, just remind ourselves that the general equation of a straight line is this y equals mx plus c. And the number in front of the x, that's m, is the gradient. And c is where it crosses the y-axis, often known as the y-intercept. And when we want to find the equation of the straight line, we need two things. We need uh, the gradient, m, which we need to find from the question somehow, and any point on the line. If it happens to be the y-intercept, that's great, because then we can just write it down. But normally we have to work a little harder. And just to note, we might be asked to give the equation in a slightly different form. We might be able to ask to give it in this form, where a, B, and C are integers normally. And that normally happens when uh, the gradient is a fraction. And as ever with geometry questions or geometrical questions, if in doubt, draw it. Okay, so let's have a look at this first question here. We're given uh, the equation of a line L, and it's y minus 3x equals 4, so not quite in y equals mx plus c form, but we can put it there very easily. And we're asked to find the equation of the line parallel to L. And remember that parallel means has uh, the same gradient. Okay, so that's something to remember. And we're also given a point which our new line passes through. So, thinking about the things we need to find, we know a point on the line, so we just need to find the gradient M. And the gradient M will be the same as the gradient of the line L. So let's have a look at the line L. Y minus 3x equals 4. Get it into the right form by getting it into Y equals. So we add 3x to both sides. And that gives us uh, Y equals 3x plus 4. And so we can now just write down that M equals 3, the number in front of the x. So in order to find the equation we need two things. We need m and we've got that. And we need a point on the line and we've got that. So let's just go ahead then. Our new line is therefore y equals, right I'm going to start with y equals mx plus c here and I know m, that's 3x, but I don't yet know c. Okay so we just write it as plus c and then I'm going to use the point that I'm given because that's an x, x equals 2, and a y, y equals minus 1. And we simply stick those into here. So minus 1 is equal to 3 times 2 plus c. 3 times 2 is 6. I want the c on its own, so I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides, and I get minus 7 is equal to c, or c equals minus 7 if you prefer. And so finally, I can write down that my new line is y equals 3x minus 7. That's the plus c. And that's that. Now, sometimes we have to work a little harder. So let's look at question 2. This time, we're given two points, a and b. So that more than fulfills any point on the line. Uh, and we're asked to find the equation of the straight line which passes through A and B. So we're not given the gradient yet, so we're going to have to find that. And we're asked to leave our answer, as suggested in the blue box, in the form AX plus BY plus C equals 0. So we're expecting the gradient to be a fraction. Let's just sketch this one. Okay, We don't necessarily need to, but it will help us uh, a little bit. So... Draw some axes, plot the two points, well not plot them, but roughly put them in the right place. So x equals minus 3, y equals 1 is point A, and b, equals, uh, b has x equals 2, y equals 3, so that's going to be about there. And so my line is going to be something like that. Now why have I sketched that? Well the first thing I can see is that the gradient is positive. So if when I'm calculating the gradient I get a minus number, then I know I've done it wrong. And I can also see that the gradient is less than a line with gradient 1, which would have a gradient roughly like that. So 
I can also know that I'm going to get a fraction less than 1. So hopefully that's what we'll get. Now in order to find the gradient I've actually uh, recreated the gradient formula here. Go and look at the coordinates tutorial if you're not uh, too happy with that. But it's basically rise over run or some people call it up over across and that is if you've got two points it's the difference in the y coordinates over the difference in the x coordinates and that's exactly what we've got here. If we call this one x1 y1 and this one that's b x2 y2 we can now just find the gradient uh, from that. So m equals right 3 minus 1 that's y2 minus y1 and then making sure we go the same way so we're doing b minus a here that's 2 minus minus 3 and be careful with that extra minus sign so on the top 3 minus 1 is 2 and on the bottom that's 2 plus 3 because a minus times a minus is a plus so 2 over 5 and that confirms what we said about the gradient when we drew the graph. It's a positive fraction but it's less than 1. Okay so the gradient is 2 fifths and now we have the gradient m and we have a point on the line. In fact we've got two points on the line so we can use either of those. So let's write down the equation of the line in classic y equals mx plus c form. It's y equals 2 fifths x plus c and we've got to find c and we have a choice. We can either use the point A or we can use the point B. I'm going to use point B because I prefer to work with positive numbers although it doesn't really make any difference. You can use either and you will get the same answer. So uh, y is 3, x is 2 so that's 2 fifths times 2 plus c. So to get c on its own I'm going to subtract 4 fifths from both sides and at this point I'm going to do it all in fractions so I'm going to say well 3 is 15 fifths and uh, we're subtracting 4 fifths and so c is well 15 minus 4 is 11 and it's in fifths and so my line has y equal is has equation y equals 2 fifths x plus 11 fifths and that might be good enough for the answer if they hadn't asked us to give it in this form. And as I say, often when you are, have a fractions in your equation, they will ask you to do it in a different form. So how do we get it in fractions? We multiply through by the bottom. There's only one bottom here. So we multiply through by the denominator, which is 5. So we get 5y on the left, 2x and 11 on the right and then we just need to do one more thing which is put it all on one side so I'm going to subtract 5y from both sides and get 0 equals 2x minus 5y plus 11. It doesn't matter that my 0 is on the other side if you want to cross it out and put it over on the right that would be fine. So there we go that's how we find the equation of a straight line. Remember somehow you have to find m and somehow you have to find a point on the line.